Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. As you can probably tell, this week is me starting reviewing the products that Karin sent me on my last video. Before anything else, Karin did not ask me to do a video or they didn't pay me to do this review. They just told me they would like to know my opinion. So this is my video about the pigment deco brush pens. This first drawing you're going to see <laughs> is just to let you know that sometimes materials don't go well with each other. Um, I really wanted to do a drawing on black cardstock because if you go on my Instagram, the first time that I tried these pens was actually on my planner and I did like a sort of a drawing on the cover of it, which was black cardstock and I really loved it. So for this drawing, I really, really wanted to do that as well. But the only black paper I had was one that I got sent a while ago by Olmar and it's just 120 GSMs. So it's quite thin and it just didn't go well. So now you are seeing the actual material I ended up using, which is like a little tiny canvas board uh, I got a few weeks ago. Luckily, I had already prepped these. So this has two layers of clear gesso and it's really small. You can tell it's really small, but it's the only thing that I had. I just wanted to try and use it. Looking back, I would have preferred to use a larger medium since even though this brush tips allows for very thin lines, it's difficult to control. So <laughs> me choosing such a small medium uh, actually became quite difficult during line art. So that's why I didn't do as much stuff. I actually got really sick last week, so my voice is still not in top shape. So I really apologize if I just sound croakier <laughs> than usual. But yeah, okay, so starting talking about the drawing, I really wanted to make a cloud person, goddess sort of thing. You know, I've been enjoying these a lot. I really want to make a larger piece with these pens someday. Okay, so my opinion on these pens is that they're awesome. I really, really enjoy them. The color selection that they have on each set is really amazing. So if you didn't see my last video where I unboxed all of the things that Karin sent me, they sent me their professional set, which, which brings the basics, the passion set, the blue violet, the nudes, and the nature one. And so I pretty much used colors from the whole set, except the basics. But the colors from the other sets are so nice, I really just wanted to use them. And so these pens are acrylic pens with brush tips. And the brush tip works great. It's a felt tip, uh, not like real bristles. They're filled with pigment that is waterproof and can be made permanent if you put a sealant, but it's also easily removed with scrubbing. So these pens are very much used by calligraphers, especially when they're doing signs and stuff like that. But I think these work amazing for illustration as well. I believe these pigments, like I mentioned, are quite permanent. So I would like to test their light fastness. I think I will be able to try their light fastness now that winter is coming. It's the time that I actually get direct sunlight on my windows. So I think I would have a lot of fun trying the light fastness of these guys. Uh, but it's really nice. It's probably easier for a beginner to have more control on these pens. Uh, they do flex quite a lot. So it allows me to cover a lot of area, but still have smaller details. The details on her face were quite tricky to get just because this is such a small surface to cover. But that was my bad. These pens are really opaque, but I definitely would give these several coats to get a really opaque look. On the drawing that I did on my planner, I did maybe two to three coats on each part and they worked out great. So I thought I would be able to do that on that thinner paper, but on the thinner paper, three coats was still looking real bad. So I don't know if it was just the paper being thin or not meant to do that. So yeah, that paper was just a really bad choice. So you can tell here or there that these are actually mixable and you can do blending with them if the color is wet, of course. The colors here took a little bit to dry because I was using gesso and so they were wet for a bit longer, but they were very easy to cover up any mistakes that I did. At some point I decided to add some rays of sunshine and I didn't enjoy them. So I was able to cover them up pretty well. You cannot even tell they were there on the final drawing. So these work great on opaque stuff. And uh, like the color for her skin is called almond. 
and I did a few mistakes here or there and I was able to cover up those mistakes with that color so even that color even though it's very bright or very light it's very opaque which was great to be honest I don't really felt like there was any cons against it in likes of pros and cons I think the only con of this set is that it is quite expensive so each set goes around 40 euros so 40 euros for 12 pens it's quite pricey but to be honest they are so nice i think the price is pretty justified um, especially if it gives you the flexibility to have a set that you think is more appropriate to you and the colors are awesome i really really love the colors cool thing about this set as well is that they come you are able to customize it if you have several sets they come with a sticker sheet that is removable so you can customize the box i'm thinking of maybe doing that so let me know if you want me to do a video about customizing one of the box for with my favorite colors because i think i think that box would be very aesthetic so the drawing itself is pretty simple since it was so small but i had tons of fun with this i had done a few drawings like i think this is maybe my third drawing with these pens. I did a peony on my sketchbook just to fill out the material and then I drew the drawing on my planner which is like a very fall witch and I really like it. It's actually the Patreon art for this month so please go on my Instagram if you want to check it out. These are very enjoyable to use. Very easy. I didn't feel stressed about it. The only thing like I mentioned that made this more difficult was the size of the canvas that I decided to choose because if it was bigger doing the line art would be no problem I only had a tiny bit issue but I am quite used to using brushes to do line art so it wasn't the end of the world it could have gone much worse I loved how layerable they are and how opaque they are brush tip is awesome it's really really nice to be able to cover such a big area with acrylic pens and just having that freedom of not having just a hard tip i just really love it the brush tip is so awesome i'm looking forward to maybe do a blog in the future and i think in those blogs i'll do a more in-depth writing uh, review of this so let me know if that's something you would like i definitely want to do a blog i think that would be very very fun so next week I will be doing some Inktober fun. I was planning on doing the whole sets of Karim just front to back, but I really do want to have fun with Inktober as well. So next week you can expect Inktober video because I really, really want to. <laughs> I just love inks. Uh, I did end up using my white pen, acrylic pen by Artistro, just because the white of the set is not super, super, super opaque. Maybe it's because, like I mentioned, is a brush tip, so it it would require multiple layers to become super opaque. And for, for small details, I much prefer to using this pen. Okay, so then they did send me some metallic sets, but I decided to wait for that, and I wanted to have. To add some gold embellishments and I do have this Montana liquid liquid gold thing that I got maybe a few months ago for another project this stuff is powerful it's really really nice I really like it totally recommend it if you are looking for something stronger like this is not watercolor this is actually quite strong smelling and I think it can be used in like furniture. Totally look it up if you are interested. I really like it. It's really, really shiny, but has a really strong smell. I definitely would recommend doing this outside or cracking open a window. I didn't and I got a headache. I know, I know, I'm really bad at that. This video is kind of done. My final opinion of these pens is that they are really, really awesome. I am incredibly happy to have these as a supply that I can use. I know that I'll be using them a ton. I love the color selection of all the sets. The basic is the one that doesn't really call out to me as much, but just because it's just your normal colors and 
the other sets have just amazing colors. So yeah, I totally recommend these pants, but of course, be mindful of your budget. As always, thank you so much for watching and for being here. All my links are down below, my Instagram, my Patreon, my Skillshare. Please leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of these pants. Would you get them or is this something you would find interesting to get? Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!